Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I have a bit of an eclectic share. I have beautiful happy mail from Gina from Gina Loves to Craft. I have a small business haul, crafty slash witchy, and I have a gorgeous witchy haul from the Salvation Army. I am really excited to share it with you. And there's one item that is not here because it is all gorgeous and done. So let's get started with my share today. Hey guys, I am back. So first, let's start off with Gina's um, happy mail. She sent this to me probably a couple of weeks ago. I am really sorry, Gina, for taking so bloody long to do this. Um, I just had so many videos kind of already scheduled and done, and I just wanted to take my time and then kind of put it with other stuff. So anyway, let's just get started. So thank you so much, Gina. So she gave me some stickers. So here is the first one. Beautiful. I love this. And I don't have that one. And I don't have this one either. Some fairy tale stickers here. We have a little, I don't know where that came from. Probably came from another bag, but some rainbows. This beautiful like spring flowers and trucks. Really, really nice. Perfect for this time of year. And some birthday stickers. Very, very pretty. And some gorgeous flowers. Really, really, really beautiful. Thank you, darling. I love them all. All right. So she gave me a lot of trim, which is cool because I have a lot of ideas. So there's two in this cute little pink sachet. And it is this little, um, what do you call it? like pom pom red um, trim. Very cute. And there's two of them in there. Then, this is really beautiful. I didn't want to take it everything out of the bag because I don't want to lose everything. Um, this really sparkly like I think they're flowers and stars are just flowers but really 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 pretty and a nice size so that is that trim okay then we have this one little kind of sea green pom-pom trim very, very cute. Love it. And then I love this one too. So, so much. I'm thinking about how I can use these in my book of shadows. Maybe like the flatter ones. Maybe this one. We got this gorgeous one. It's like this jeweled one. And she gave me a really nice long piece of it. So let me give you a little, whoops, slippery little dude. All right, let's do that. Very pretty, like jewel tone um, trim. I love this one. All right, let's put that down. And then the rest are these beautiful like gem stickers. So we got those. Nice, like Easter kind of colors. I love these. They're like more matte. Got white and baby pink. You got some hearts there. I love these. These are like my favorites. Very, very pretty. Uh, let's see. We got these two right here. I love these strips. They're really awesome. And then she gave me these very pretty pink ones with like little pearls. Perfect for this time of year. White ones. And these like beautiful blue ones. 
Ooh, I love the little pearls. And then you have these three right here. I love like a lot of these pastels. Very, very pretty. Thank you, thank you so much. And the last bag here. Uh, let's see. We got these guys. These are pretty, like multiple color. And then this one is more orangey or gold. I think it's more of a gold. And you got these three right here. And whoops, they're like fall all over the place, guys. You got these pink ones. I am a sucker for pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors. And more pink. Here, let's do the pinks. Very pretty hearts and flowers. Very nice to use in all different types of projects. Got the black and white. Very pretty. And then these are going to be great for like some moon projects. Because they literally look like mini moons to me and I love it. I love, love, love those. Very, very beautiful. I got to keep these out so I don't forget to use them. And last but not least... We got some pearls, some like, it looks like jewels, and some beautiful silver hearts. Very, very beautiful. Thank you so much, Gina. Again, I am so sorry. It took me so long to do this video. And so, the next thing I'm going to do is like my small business haul. Like some, it was, it's like a local store. And I found some really cute, they have a lot of cute craft um, materials and just a little bit more expensive than the dollar to me like a dollar or so more um, but really really nice and unique and it's like crafty slash like I could use also like my witchy you know my witchy practice so it's like for both all right so let's get started with that next all right, guys, I am back. So for the next thing, it's like the, um, it's like a discount store in my neighborhood, maybe five, seven blocks away. They have this really nice section of like craft stuff. But I'm looking, I'm like, hmm, I could use some of this in my like little witchy uh, projects. So um here's the first thing so this was 259 and i've used this before in projects this is cotton lace tape let me take it out because it's really cool and they also have burlap um tape which i have some so i didn't get it the last time i got this i had it in cream but this is like a nice amount um i need to get some more because i really really like it very very cool so that is the first thing then i got some floral tape i have no idea what the heck i'm gonna use this for but i saw it and i was like let me grab it so it's only a dollar 99 and i like the packaging too it's like it looks like it's from the same company maybe i don't know uh actually no it's not they're all different but they have a really nice cute little craft section uh there for like one of those kind of crazy looking discount stores. If you live in New York, you know what I'm talking about. Next, I got this very, very pretty uh, vine, gold vine trim. And how much do, does it say how much you get in here? Well, no, I don't think it says how like long it is, but it's really nice. Um, yeah, I like that. So... I'm going to use that in some projects. I know exactly what I'm using it for. Next, I found these bags. And I figured maybe I could put some herbs in here. Or if I do like a happy mail. Um, like if I put like, if I have loose stickers. So it has, like when I do these like witchy unboxings. It has, it's, a, it's kind of this very similar packaging. The back is open. So you can like see if I wanted to put herbs in here, I could. Um, if I wanted to pack some up and like do my own little thing, I could do that. 
um, or whatever. But I really, I saw these, I was like, you know what? These are gonna come in handy for something. Or let's say I wanted to send some herbs to someone else. It will look really pretty. Or just like craft stuff, like stickers or beads or whatever. So I thought that was really nice. And then, you know, it's plastic, you put a label there. So I got those, and how much was that? That was $1.99. All right, up next, this was $2.29. This is a set of four mini craft funnels. So for me, this is more on the witchy side um, because I can use this to put uh, oils in the small bottles. Um, like herbs and stuff like that to get it into bottles. That's what I got it for. But obviously you can use it for glitters. You can use it for sequins, you know, stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Four different sizes. And this is perfect for me. So I'm glad I found that. Next, now these are plastic, but, and they're $2.59 and they're pretty big. Um, I'm just gonna take it out. The only thing is I don't like the plastic, so if I used it for like witchy stuff, which I probably will, the plastic is not like my preferred thing. I'd rather have glass, but I'm also clumsy. So anyway, I thought these were really cool and I want to get some more because I think this would be beautiful for herbs or anything like a little uh, spell bottles. I think these are great. And they're plastic and they have these really cute um, cork tops. So I thought that was really cute. What else? Oh yeah. Then I got these mini glass um, bottles with the cork. But these are like the amber color. So I thought that was, if I could get it open. I like the amber color because it protects it from the light. So that is what that looks like and it's a you know it's on the smaller size but it's still like a decent size so if I want to make someone an oil or make myself oils or whatever um, so you get five of them for how much was that it was 259 for five so you know these are more expensive than obviously Dollar Tree but you know Dollar Tree I've never seen the like amber colored ones so i thought these were adorable so i got those next i really really love this this is so cool this is going to be used for like a witch ball or a spell ball and look at this it already has the twine and the cork on top and this one is definitely is this plastic oh this is glass okay one was try I, I was asking the woman at the cash register to like wrap all of them. She only wrapped one because she said, oh, the rest was plastic. I'm like, dude, it says glass right on it. And this is a great size. So this one, this was a little more expensive. This was $3.59, but this is very unique. It already has the twine. It has the little cork and I've never seen ones for me personally with like a cork on it. So I thought this was really really cool and i'm going to drop it again see this is why i need plastic all right next is i found this beautiful again for like um spell bottles and i took oh no i did try to take the ticket off of here this was a dollar 99 but again in the dollar tree um this would maybe be a dollar 25 but i've never seen heart shaped ones so, you know, you can use this for ornaments, obviously, and you can fill them up. You can use it for glitter. You can use it for spell bottles, just decoration. You can make Christmas ornaments, uh, obviously. Um, I can't get it back on now, but anyway, uh, you know, Valentine's Day stuff. Uh, I think this, I thought about like um, self-love, that my little self-love altar, my self-love spell. Um, that I want to do and last but not least is I got a star shape one same thing with the heart and I think price same price is $2.99 again I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree and these are glass not plastic so you have to be careful but I thought these were very unique <clears throat> and I don't know I was thinking maybe I don't know, like a road opener spell 
or an abundance, like, you know, being like the star, you know, like kind of, or maybe more like courage or something like that. So that's what I got at the discount store. And also this little sachet that Gina gave me is perfect for self-love or friendship spells. So thank you, Gina, for adding to my witchy collection. I don't think I have pink, so that is awesome. All right, guys, so that is my um, local store witchy crafty haul. Next um, up is my witchy slash home decor, but it's more on the witchy side, um, Salvation Army. This is really, really cool, guys. I have I found some really awesome stuff. So I will be right back. I'm going to show you that haul. All right. So last but not least, now I got all of this stuff. First of all, I went on Valentine's Day. I was in the area. There's one, like a couple of train stops away. I could actually walk there from my house. I was in the area already. Salvation Army. I said, let me just go. It was Valentine's Day. And when I went there, lo and behold, it was 50% off day. I'm like, Salvation Army has 50% off. I mean, things there are like cheap already and i was like oh my god let me go find some stuff right so the first thing i got was this really cool board now everything i had already cleaned everything and cleansed it i smoke cleansed everything uh, because it is used and i cleaned everything so this is just a card i put down this is like uh let me move this this is like this really cool fabric board I have no idea what I'm going to use this for, but like I can, you know, put little nice postcards on it. Um, I mean, it's like solid, well, not solid wood, but it's really well made. It has the hook already, um, that little claw hook, uh, easy way to enjoy. I don't know what that's about, but anyway, I thought this was really cool and I figured, yeah, I can make it get some use out of it. I saw it. And by the way, everything I got, the total price was only $15. So I'm like, I was shocked because like, I'm going to show you what I found here. All right. Let's just, you know what? I'm just going to move that to the side. Yeah. I'm going to put, whoops. I'm going to put this back here. All right. So the second thing I found was this really cool. It's a little dusty still, but I did clean it. It just has some stuff on it. Um, this beautiful votive, uh, candle holder. I just liked the cool design. I thought it was really simple and this could be home decor, whatever this could be on my altar, whatever it is, but, um, or my different altars, but I saw, I just really was attracted to it. So this I think is really cool and it's double and it's really sturdy. So that. And again, everything was 15, so I don't remember exactly what I paid for each item, but obviously it was really cheap. Second one I got was this amazing other candle hole. I thought this was so interesting looking, so it's a single one. Again, it's like in perfect condition, and I think it came with the glass. I did have one votive. I need to get more. Um, but I thought this was really, really cool. Now this definitely is more like can go on my altar. That one is more like home decor, you know, but this one I think was really, really like sturdy and very, very like, look at the design of it. And there's like nothing wrong with this. It. Probably like cost me two bucks or something. So that, whoop, there goes my camera. Sorry guys. Let's focus. Thank you. Next is, so I'm saving the best for last, if you haven't noticed, but those two candle holes are really cool. I found this really cool wreath in very, very good condition. It's plain for now. Uh, I don't know this may be better for like fall um, wreath. It's like straw. So I think I'm going to save it to do like a fall project, but I could probably use it for spring too, but it just kind of reminds me of more fall. Uh, vibes again I don't remember how much I paid but the whole total price was 15 bucks so it didn't cost me a lot so I thought that was really awesome and in pretty good condition all right now here are the two great things I need to get my lighter ready so got this guy and this guy oh I could not believe I found this 
especially this right here. This is like a little tea light holder, okay? But for my purposes, this is like an offering dish and it's around, I can't tilt it now because it's just like plain white ceramic, but it has pretty, um, actually has leaves on it. I don't know if you could see that. Oh, and there goes my herbs. Rats. All right. I, I was trying not to do that. But anyway, I should have like taken my herbs off, but you know, I didn't want to do that. All right. Anyway, so here is, so it's a tea light holder. Maybe you could put a votive in here, but the, I didn't want the, um, uh, wax to spill out. So look how beautiful that is. Isn't that pretty? So it's an offering dish around with a little, I'm using it as a tea light holder. So I thought that was really, really cool. And it's a beautiful, it's ceramic, it's well made. The second to last thing is, look, it is a selenite candle holder. The only thing is, it's missing one piece, but what did this remind you of? I should do a poll. This, my son, it reminded him of the Fortress of Solitude, Superman's Fortress of Solitude. Look how, a, a, and it is heavy. And look at it. It is so cool. Actually, maybe it's not missing. I don't know. It probably is missing, but I kind of like it because it does remind me of this Crystal Palace. Look how amazing. Now I'm going to light it because I want to show you how it looks lit. If I can get it to go. Look at that, how cool that is. I wish I could like kind of really show you, but I'm trying. But I just thought that was like one of the coolest candle holders I have ever seen. And again, I think this cost me like four bucks. A selenite tea light holder. Are you kidding me? So the last thing I got was this really cool, let me get this out of the way. It's like a shelfy thing. And I think that was originally like maybe $6. I just paid three bucks. It's crazy. It's a solid wood shelfy thing. Um, it's really unique and I totally transformed it into a forest um, altar. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that next. I'm really, really excited. All right, guys, hey. So I'm bringing you into my witchy space. Now, I just wanna show you something. I actually found this hiding somewhere in my house. I was cleaning out some like hidden areas. I don't know what type of stone this is. It's an egg. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I found this. I'm like, only I would find a stone egg in my house. So I have my little woodland path, Tuscany candle. And here it is. Look at this beauty. So this is just like a plain brown shelfy thing. If I could kind of step back a little bit. Here it is. Like, like this. If you could see see it a little bit better go so this is how I altered it I got this really cool sticker I put this um, white quartz pendulum here I have my green uh, green wood fey incense I have like a little goddess here like my earth it's more like, you know, Gaia kind of earthy goddess. I have some incense. And what I did was I altered it. I was going to paint it, but I'm like, I like the brown, you know, um, very, very cool. Then it has this very cool shelf on top with like these holes underneath so I could hang things. So I have room for incense and artwork and some crystals green agate and i got some tiger's eye i think that's jasper i got some loose incense a beautiful tree of life um altar tile 
and my forest path resin and then inside I have treasures I got some candles I got some forest keeper incense which is amazing I have a little tree spirit um, like journey a ritual there and I have this beautiful forest witch candle in there and I have my little incense holder and of course I had to add more moss to it I've been wanting to do this for a while and of course I have some cute little lights like fairy lights around it and I am in love with this and this cost me about three dollars I think so that is it guys I hope you enjoyed my wonderful uh, forest and I, wait let me not forget here what's next to it is my gorgeous forest journal by Lisa from Sirius Hekka and underneath that is my forest path um, book that I got and here's that candle holder there and I have my little robe so here is kind of like I extended my forest altar just to bring the forest inside the house um, I really miss being in the forest and so this was a way for me to kind of bring nature into the house and really honor the forest so I hope that you enjoyed my hauls and thanks again to Gina from Gina Loves to Craft, my gorgeous happy mail. That is it guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!